engaged. Um, they are having so much fun, and you can just see the joy while they rehearse. So um, I'm very privileged to welcome the sixth grade chorus to the stage to grace us with some beautiful music. They are directed by Mrs. Wildman. So enjoy.
We hope you're having a wonderful night. The song you just heard is Give Me Blues. The song's melody was originated from the song O Wally Wally, which dates back to Scotland in the 1700s. This is one of our favorite songs to sing because it makes us feel like a bird calmly flying through the air on the warm day. This tune was made popular in 1958 by Pete Seeger, a famous American folk singer and activist who died in 2014 at the age of 94. We put a lot of hard work into this song. This song was a little more difficult due to the two parts, but we definitely got the hang of it. And we had so much fun learning this song. We hope you like it. Thank you. <laughs>
song is sung by Michelle Williams, Hugh Jackman, and Zeev Zig. The title of this song, Amelia and James, means an ode to the power of positive thinking, faith, and believing in your dreams. Our chorus has had a wonderful time learning and singing this song. We enjoy it because it is very upbeat and shows a lot of emotion throughout the whole piece. This song talks about how you can pursue your dreams if you work hard enough. A Million Dreams has brought us through many challenges as a chorus, so this is one of the higher songs that we sing in today's concert. There are also two parts which make this song stand out even more. Even though this was a challenging piece, it was very enjoyable to learn and sing. We hope you enjoy this incredible piece. Thank, Thank you. you.
are so proud of these kids. They have come so far this year, and they are just singing beautifully. Um, thank you, everybody, families, for supporting the arts. Thank you for supporting them and sending me such wonderful, fun kids to work with. Um, we are going to now combine our course. Um, the seventh and eighth grader will be joining us for um, one piece, which just is full of hope and wonder. So.
can't believe we're already at our last concert of the year. This has been certainly a challenging year for a lot of us in the arts, getting students involved again and getting them back to being uh, just socially aware of one another and interacting with one another. And I think the kids have done an amazing job. What we did this year in 7th and 8th grade course in this half of the year was we did a lot of work and researched a lot of things uh, given the theme of each month in our, uh, in our country. So the first piece that you just heard, Glow Daddy Next Chelsea, uh, Glory to God in the Highest, we did, we learned uh, in April um, because Easter was in April. Uh, and February, you know, Black History Month, we started to look at various composers and poets um, from the African American tradition. We paired this next piece, we compared what the Hebrew slaves went through um, versus the African American slaves, what they went through in our country, and we found that between both um, groups, that there is always this idea of crossing over the water to freedom. So this technically could be used, um, this next piece, the spiritual, um, you know, to uh, talk about what the Hebrew slaves went through when they were fleeing Egypt, or it can talk about what the African American slaves went through when they were trying to break free in the South. Uh, and the piece following that, um, I Dream a World, is by the poet Langston Hughes. Um, if you've never been to the um, African American um, Museum in Washington, D.C., I suggest you go. I went with my family a couple of years ago, and I mean, Langston Hughes's uh, words are all over the place in there. Unbelievable. And a lot of composers have taken his lyrics or, or words and put them to music. And this particular piece was actually chosen for the senior festival chorus this year, uh, I Dream a World. And so they learned it and performed it. Uh, and also it was created for, in 2002 it was written uh, by Andre Thomas for um, all the souls that so bravely gave their lives in September 11th. So. Enjoy the next two.
why some of them have on little green flowers. I always try to give my eighth graders something to denote my gratefulness and to have them stand out. Uh, they've been with me for two years. Um, I wanted to draw your attention that all of the students were accepted to the junior Central District Chorus. And I say all oh, because Miss Aaron did not join us until after that time. So if you're looking, you're like, oh, poor girl, there's just one asterisk this month. No, she actually wasn't with us at the time. So they all did indeed get in. So that was also a huge feat. So, yeah. Oh, boy, this next piece. I uh, was introducing them to some female composers. They were each asked to research a female composer from North America, South America, and Europe. And it came up obviously with Amy Beach, because Amy Beach is from New Hampshire. And Miss Dane was really excited when she found out we were singing the piece by Amy Beach because she did a lovely paper on that in college, <laughs> on her. She's a wonderful composer, but she's very intricate. And I can honestly say that I've never heard uh, students that are 12 or 13 sing Amy Beach music. Uh, it's just not done because it's difficult. Difficult. Or the adult chorus is probably college. Um, so we decided to attempt this piece while we were studying uh, women composers and women's history month in March. So we're kind of uh, we're kind of excited to to present this to you today. So the, the uh, poem is absolutely beautiful. She's just comparing her own relationship um, to summer changing to fall and hoping that her relationship doesn't change.
lost. Anybody know some of the poems that he wrote? Yes, that's one. Yes. Well, he also um, wrote this poem called The Girl's Garden. And Randall Thompson, who's an American composer, who was who's actually here, Princeton, Harvard, that sort of thing. Um, he actually loved Robert Frost so much that he took seven of his poems, which are about what? New England. New England, the country settings that you find in New England. And he made this collection called Frostiana. And uh, it's, it's fun. I hope you will understand all the words. I'm pretty sure you will. Pretty interesting. <coughs> Thank you 
so much for all you've done for us, at least while I've been here. And kids, we really appreciate your support of our arts and always being at our concerts. It means a lot to us. And we wish you much success as you go forward. So thank you very much.
this particular eighth grade class did not have that experience as they came through. Uh, so one of the things that we did in the last couple months is bring this together. We had a lot of help from my student teacher, Mr. Vitali. He's, I believe, it's here somewhere, which is nice. Um, and uh, we had a lot of help from some other people as well. So we hope you enjoy um, small group performances tonight, uh, beginning with the saxophone. So we would hope you enjoy. Uh, please give a warm welcome to the four of them.
Yeah. Once again, I wanted to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, as a father of a two-year-old, I understand uh, the cost of keeping you away from home, and just from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for being here. I also wanted to thank Edith for working the booth up at the top. Thank you very much. Enjoy coming back.